Hello there. We have something a little bit different today. This will appear in some of my videos concerned with neon lighting. But here we have what is commonly known as a, a Rumkoff coil. The name is from Heinrich Daniel Rumkoff, who was born in Hanover in 1803 in Germany. He moved to England where he worked for the Brahma Company. Now Brahma, or Joseph Brahma at the time, was a very clever gentleman. He was responsible for making a virtually unpickable lock, the Brahma lock. He was into hydraulics, high pressure water. Also he done much work towards the lavatory system. He worked he was worked at a similar time to a Mr. Crapper who is associated with lavatories. You often hear the expression it was a load of crap. Hopefully my video is not that but the name comes from Mr. Crapper who was one of the gentlemen who worked on the toilet. Anyhow leaving those that bit of history. The coil was actually invented by an Irish priest by the name of Nicholas Callan. Nicholas Callan invented this the coil. His date was nine it was seventeen ninety nine to eighteen sixty four. But like so many things, someone comes along and improves the de design and he or she gets the credit with the invention of the coil. So you'll see these coils as Rumkoff coils rather than Callan coils, but Callan was the inventor. Simply, the coils themselves consist of two windings. Windings with, with a very short length, and that wiring is similar to a trembler bell. The magnet or electromagnet attracts an armature which disconnects the circuit. I can show you it here, not working, but I can show it working. The electromagnet draws the armature over and you get a make and break at the interrupter. Across the coil, or rather across the interrupter, is wired a capacitor or a condenser as they were called. If you go back before that, they were called Leyden jars. Underneath the box is where it's housed. And it is simply made up of sheets of metal insulated one from the other and that formed the capacitor. It helps in producing a stronger signal through to the coil and also reduce the excessive arcing. Anyhow the other winding which terminates in the ends with these two terminals, one there and one the other end, consists of many 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 turns. Wire is thin many turns and it is isolated from the other coil. So you have two coils. When you have two coils wound round um, for um, a soft iron center, you can just see, as the voltage builds up in one coil it is induced into the other coil. This was Faraday's experiments he discovered this. It only does it while the, the current is is increasing or decreasing. It's got to be through change. So this is how with DC to drive the whole thing you can get like an AC effect or alternating current effect. It is in fact an early form of transformer. Anyhow let's have a little look and we will give a little demonstration. We have a switch here to turn it on. It's run from a 12 volt 
battery but as the current is too high I've dropped it through a car headlamp bulb this is just to limit the actual current let's switch it on and see if it works you'll notice the lamp will light and then dim you can probably hear the uh, influx is going and you can see it making and breaking with the spark that's the electromagnet going to and fro between the two coils hopefully we'll develop a little bit of juice with a knife across Anyhow, in future videos, this will probably be shown and it'll be powering up neon lamps because that way you can run a neon demonstrating purposes without any resistance, without the fear of blowing it up. Anyhow, this was manufactured by the company of W and J George Limited, late of F.E. Becker and Company, manufacturers Birmingham and London. Anyway, I think that's all I can sort of, sort of say this time round. What is nice to see is the terminals, or in America, binding posts, are beautifully made of brass, a rotary switch which will turn off. And all in all, a nice piece of antique equipment. Anyhow, thanks for looking. Any comments feel free to shout and I'll try and answer them. Thank you for looking.